I keep putting this job off. Airbags. Hi everyone. Today we're out here. Uh, you know we've talked about this for a while. We're gonna put the airbags in the back of the rig. For whatever reason, I've been putting it off, putting it off, and my supervisor informed me that I need to get this done ASAP. I go through this thing, in my mind, it's perfect, right? Like I know how to do the installation, I, it's, a, it's a pretty easy installation, and in my mind, it's all gone perfect, right? And <clears throat> All the bolts come loose that need to, I don't have any issues, so it's just perfect. And as soon as I start working on it, that could disrupt the perfectness. Like I can already see the finished product even though I haven't even really opened the box yet. And as soon as I start messing around and working on this, that perfectness whoosh, could go right away. So I just popped the tape on the old Load Lifter 5000 Ultimates. First impressions, that is a heck of an instruction manual. So they give us a, an installation diagram here. It's really a very simple system. So up here where it mounts to the frame, this is where the bumper is currently. The the jounce bumper. So you remove the jounce bumper and the holes that are remaining you then use to mount the top bracket for the airbag. Then here's the bags themselves. Here's the bottom plate that sits on the axle and then these two straps go under the axle and squeeze that plate tight. That's it. It's very easy. And then the airline comes out of the top here, they show it, and you route that out where you're going to put your Schrader valves. So I am going to raise the back of the truck, not, not the wheels. I'm going I'm to lift the body so that there's more spread between the, the frame and the axle just to help with the installation. And we got a windy day here. So this is my creeper, and then I was going to lay the parts out there, but Lefty has just adopted that. So I just want to get everything laid out, make sure everything's here, give it a once over and make sure I understand everything. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box. sealed bags. I love it. Thank you. So just from looking at that diagram that was in here, top bracket, top bracket, the two bottom brackets. These are the cups that go on the top and the bottom of the bag themselves. These are the brackets that hold the bottom bracket to the axle. And then this is the airline. Oh, I can see something under there that didn't used to be there. Hellwig. Hell yeah. Okay, so what we're removing is this bumper right here. And it's just it's just got a post that goes up through the frame with a nut on top and it looks like it's 15 millimeter. There we go. Not overly tight, you can see it's moving down here. There we go, okay. There we go, okay, that's done. So these just get chucked out. So I'll hold on to it till I know the airbags are a success. I like how they fit it to go up and then it tucks in out here. I'll try to show it in a minute, but it's formed you know exactly for this truck I can tell they have cutouts right here for this the lip of the frame okay so now it's time to pre-assemble the bag with the bracket and all that uh, and then you bring it out here as a unit and stick it in here so let's go do that so I am gonna compress these and I've got some big zip ties over here I gotta assemble it first and then I'll compress it because I don't want the zip ties to get in the way oh. Sticker! You want to get your Campulance Man or Lefty stickers, go to the campulanceman.com slash shop and you can get yours. Okay, just getting the other side. First time using our new pliers. Gotta love it. One, two, 
County. So I've got a couple of zip ties on here and the airbag is compressed all the way down. So the next step is to actually put this assembly in there, putting this stud up through the hole that we just unbolted that rubber bumper from, and then a flat washer and a lock nut. This is a nylock nut. Well, I guess that's the way you do it right there, but I don't have enough room. I've got jack stands. Sorry, I gotta move you all out of the way. Okay. Flat washer, nylock. We've got the bag in there. You can see I've got some space beneath it because I have it so compressed and I have the truck raised up, the box of the truck raised up a bit. That post, you see that? That's tightened down. One comes in from the outside of the frame and attaches the bracket to the frame outboard. And then that post that you see there, that holds the bag up. So now it's time to get the bottom of it attached gonna be right there so let me go get the book and read it and then uh, bring the parts out here oh I'm sorry I didn't have the camera on I just cut the zip ties and let the Kraken loose here <laughs> so that it could settle onto the axle there we go okay so zip ties are out I've got one of the the loop brackets on here yeah, I've got one of them here I'm gonna put the other one on now so these are, these are directional. Uh, you can see that this goes out farther in the back because it has to clear a brake line out there that runs along the back side of the axle. I am on jack stands and the jack, both, but I still don't like it. And the wheels are chalked. I need three hands for this operation right here. This is one of those three hand things. Okay, I'm just snugging these clamps down a little at a time you have to watch on the back side that um, that they don't come in contact with those brake the brake line back there and I got I got room I can feel it it's almost a quarter of an inch between the bolts and the brake line which is good That's done. So now all that's left is the airline. So right now the airline fitting is right there. So that's in there, it's all bolted. The top ones are done, they're torqued. These are good. There is no torque spec on these bottom ones, they're nylocks. I do have plenty of room between the bolts and the brake line back here, so that's not a concern. So we're good, we are good to go. The other side tomorrow should go a lot faster because I'm a professional now. Right? I know what I'm doing. I know all the tools. I know the process. I know how to compress the spring and or the bag and use the zip tie trick. I've got the zip ties on here. Look how I'm getting good at the compression zip tie. So this thing is all the way fully compressed. It took my big heavy duty zip ties. The first time I've used my long ones, so I'm glad I bought them because they came in handy for this. Oh, wait, that's not tight. We didn't tighten that on the other side. Let me get back over there and finish that. Banana wax, let me go do that. Okay, so this side is fully bolted in and I'm just gonna cut the zip ties so it'll, it'll uh, expand and land down onto the axle and then I can put the lower bracket on. So this one went uh, pretty easy. You know, I, the first one was the learning and the second one is pretty simple. So let me go ahead and cut those zip ties and we'll see what she does. Let me see if I can get the camera on there. 
for the big snap. It's not like super dramatic. There you go. There we go. All right, so now I'm just gonna do the lower bracket. Same as the other one. Oh, battery's going dead. I'll pick up with y'all later. Now you just wrap yourself around the grill, huh? You got all this space out here. Okay. I'll fix it. Good morning. We're back out for day two of the airbag job. So yesterday I got both of them. They're fully installed, both sides. Everything's tightened, torqued. No change is needed there. So today all we've got left to do is install that heat shield for the passenger side because of the exhaust pipe and we've got to install the airlines. So neither of those two pieces of the install are gonna be difficult at all. So we're gonna get this banged out real quick and then I've got a couple other small things that I'm gonna take care of too. We are, today's Friday, we are leaving Tuesday. We're really good schedule right now. You know, I've got a ton of laundry I've got to do. Basically got to wash everything I own as far as clothes. Well, not everything, but pretty close. Like, I actually only have one more pair of socks up there. So, and I carry a lot of pairs of socks and they're all dirty. So the hamper is to the brim right now. So I got to do laundry. I've also got to run still to Walmart and stock up on some items. I've cleared out, you know, like there's no food in the truck right now. I cleared everything out. Some things were dated and I have a mental thing about, you know, food that's been sitting for a while. I just, I, I might as well just get rid of it because I'll never eat it. I have a, I have a blockage about that. So, um, so airbag finished today, a couple other small things and we're getting closer to getting out of here. Let's get it done. Just came back from our morning walk, just had his breakfast some kibble with hot water and then a bunch of chicken thigh mixed in there. So spoiled. Okay, we've got the, this is the airline it comes with. This is a, uh, a rigid hard plastic quarter inch OD. These are the threaded ends, the Schrader valves. The instructions really emphasize to use like a fresh razor blade to get a, a clean square cut. Don't use side cutters don't use pipe cutter kind of thing. Okay, got a nice clean cut. Let's get up under there and do this heat shield first. What do you think? So all it is, is this flat piece of stamped steel. These two tabs here, you bend them, they go around the exhaust pipe, and then you use these two hose clamps to clamp it down. Now they also included a piece of heat shielding that you can use for the airline where it's passing that section so it's got some extra heat protection. That's a good idea. Okay, here's, here's the diagram for installing the heat shield. So this is the heat shield right here. So you can see it's blocking. This is the exhaust pipe. Here's the airbag. So it's a shield so no heat is hitting the bag right here from the tailpipe. I don't know how warm the tailpipe gets out there. I'm sure it's warmer than the rest of the vehicle. One thing they also mention is on some vehicles to get enough clearance here that you may have to loosen your exhaust pipe up here between the muffler and the converter and push everything so that you have enough clearance. This is, it says on some vehicles. Hopefully it's okay and we'll just knock this out real fast. Okay, just got up under there and looked at it, and there's no way I can slide the exhaust pipe forward. So this vehicle doesn't have a catalytic converter. It's got a muffler, and then a big long pipe that comes up and meets up with the downpipe from the exhaust system up front from the turbo. But the hangers um, are welded to the pipe, and then they're, you know, in into a rubber-mounted, um, bracket that's bolted all up there so there's no way I can move any of that and so the the space that I have here it's I'm gonna make it work basically I'm gonna mount this heat shield but they want a half an inch uh, of space between the tailpipe and the heat shield right so we end up with that so now the clamps go over these two L's and wrap around the tailpipe here, the exhaust pipe. 
Now, what we're dealing with here, see there's the exhaust pipe right there. So this space here between the bag and the pipe is where we're gonna be mounting this um, heat shield. So like right there. I just gotta kinda curve it a little bit so it, cause that pipe has got a little bit of an arc to it. And there's, there's plenty of room now between the shield and the bag itself. So I just gotta get these two clamps around this thing and get her tightened up. See it installed, and I kind of okay. Left. <sighs> you gonna mess with the poor maintenance guy, huh? Well, you wanna go in the truck? You wanna go inside? It's a big jump. I don't have the step out, and it's on jacks. There you go. What? You looking at all the new stuff? I know. It doesn't look the same. See the color on the wall? Let's show them the shelf liners that we did. This is all done. So this is a no slip. I've got it on both top and bottom shelves. Both sides. So it's a you know it's supposed to be like a non-slip and it does have little dimples. Um so it's it's gonna be better than nothing, I can tell already. You know, this has some some friction grip to it as opposed to what it was like before. Let's put our airlift sticker. Check this out. So this is my, my sticker wall. Oh, this is a thin one. Wow. This is not like the quality of mine. Let's go right there. A uh, little overlapping. Sorry, Jayco. There we go. I've just mounted the two Schrader valves. You can see Originally, I had measured out and I was going to put it an inch out and centered top to bottom uh, the height of this light. But if you've ever tried to fasten anything down on diamond plate and you run into these raised areas, so thinking of that, I needed to put it out in the center of one of these flat areas so there was plenty of room so that this rubber washer and flat washer could lay flat. So we've got this one here. And then the other one is down there. So I just gotta snug these nuts down. And in fact, I just laid out, stretched out the airline under there and it looks like it's just long enough. It says to run it up 40 to 60 pounds and give everything a look and make sure that nothing is, you know, binding and the bags haven't expanded and they're hitting something. So here's, here's where I think we're at though. We need to go take a test drive. I have not test driven the truck since the front end was done, the sway bar kit. Haven't, haven't even rolled it out of the driveway since we installed that. And now the airbags. So I did drive it after we did the shocks and the rear sway bar bushings and links. I did drive it and I noticed a definite difference. It was way more planted, didn't roll as much going around corners. Now we've got the front sway bar kit and now we've got rear airbags. So we're due for a test drive. You heard test drive and you just came running. <laughs> okay, they both got 40. This is going to be the first test drive with rear airbags and front sway bar kit. Oh. 
Oh, it definitely doesn't rock like it used to. I think it rides incredibly different. Like, way smoother. <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't rock like anything like it used to. Wow, the rear end. I know it's those shocks, well, and the airbags, right? Oh, it's way smoother, way smoother. Way, way smoother. What I'm noticing is it's not, it's not doing the, you know, the repeat rocking like it used to. Oh yeah, and the rear end, like those, those road scene bumps we just went over, it didn't pop pop. It just boop boop rolled over them. Cause those were, I hated driving over those. Yeah, the rear end, like it's, it used to pogo. It's not doing that anymore. See, it just did one. We just did a little dip rise and it stopped after one. It used to pogo. Yeah, just did it again. Boop boop. Drives. Uh, it drives differently than it used to. That's for dang sure. I was t telling mom the other day, I said, um, I'm going to have to get all used to the truck again, you know, with its its noises and characteristics and everything. You know, it took me some time to get used to the, the previous version um, with how it handles road situations and conditions. And now I've got to go through that all again, which is, you know, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, way, way better on a corner like that. We used to have, you know, bad lean. Not anymore. It feels way more planted going down the road. What the heck? Oh, geez. You know where I chose to do the turnaround. The T-O-W-N-P-A-R-K. What a mistake this was. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Left very heavy on my leg, man. You got both front paws right in my thigh. That is very heavy. Yes, crossing, I just crossed a really rough pavement line that typically would kind of toy with the truck and it didn't do that. Ah, that dip right there, that's a non-symmetrical road dips there and the truck used to do this wobbly thing didn't even feel it hardly all right we're back i'm gonna call that a success i'm gonna get out and check everything underneath and make sure that a everything is still there and that nothing looks like it's a problem i can't imagine anything is everything installed perfectly I have no concerns over anything which is great oh, I'm happy with that buddy you think it felt better hmm